What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Bird and if you're new here, thanks for watching. If you've been following the channel at all, then you are familiar with the struggle that I had to go through last year trying to get an ox locker installed in the rear end. Now that I've got it actually installed, I've been dying to go somewhere and test it out. One of the first places that came to mind was Iron Gap up in North Alabama. I got to a certain point a couple of years ago and decided that the obstacle was too big for the way I was set up. So I figured that this time I can actually use a locker and maybe make it out. We'll see. your tire is up against that rock no hold on you can't go back because you're gonna hit that tree So we finally make it back to the obstacle that I was hoping to test out my locker zone. And unfortunately, I had to run through a whole lot of mud to get here. As I've stated in the past videos, my tires are absolutely terrible in mud. So that on top of slick rock made for a very difficult attempt. Also, I want to let it be known that I've been driving a manual transmission my whole life and trying to rock crawl in a manual transmission is extremely difficult, at least for me. I mean, there's a bunch of guys out there that are hardcore. Manual transmission is the way to go if you're gonna get a Jeep, blah, blah, blah. It is very difficult to rock crawl in a manual transmission. Turtle. On top of that, it doesn't help that I didn't engage my locker. Hold on. 
I've tried the entire time without a locker. I was giving Creel, my trusty spotter, a hard time because he didn't even notice it either. He wasn't like, hey man, your locker's not working. <laughs> I didn't realize that they had the auxiliary switches set up so that whenever you kill it out, it resets the switch. So when I killed it out to get out and go spot my line, I got back in, cranked the Jeep up thinking that the thing was still active. Didn't even check to see if the light was on and here I go. So after I failed umpteen times, different lines, etc., on the first obstacle, I switch to trying to go on the bypass. Even on the bypass, my tires were caked in mud and I could not make it. We had multiple attempts. Spot, in a terrible spot. You're on another rock now. Got to do that situation again. And then there's another one right in front of that. And another one right in front of that. Turn passenger, back up a little bit, that's the other way, stop, set all the driver, let her eat. said screw it i'm just gonna go a different way out because the whole point was to try to go out the tennessee side it's what we've been trying to do the past two or three times we've been to iron gat we've never made it a guy had recently posted a alternative route that takes you uh kind of down iron gap road and so we started going down that way and we ran into a tree across the road krill got out his chainsaw cut on it some chainsaw wasn't big enough to make it through the whole tree you got a hatchet or anything mm. No, I had a machete in here at one point in time. I don't think machete's gonna do it. So I ended up doing a cardinal sin and hooked up my winch line and used it like a uh, snatch rope, unfortunately, because we didn't have a snatch rope. So I had to yank repeatedly with my winch line on this tree until it finally broke. Let me back my Jeep up a little bit. You gonna do that Give it a little more slack, and then and then give it a good hard hit, and I think it'll pop. I'm gonna do that time. I think they're open up. Ooh, she ain't closed. I'm gonna come reposition your rope on the tree. All right, beans it. What? What's that thing made of? I don't know, man. Hold on, let me look. Success! We were super excited, got the tree out of the way, got further down the trail, and not half a mile, we ran into like six or seven trees that were down. They were huge. And we're just like, oh man. And so at this point, we got to backtrack all the way back. And I had told my wife that we'd be like seven o'clock getting out of there. So we had to book it because there was no cell signal. Anyway, that's all for this video. I appreciate you watching. And I got some more stuff coming in the near future. Stay tuned.